no introduction. The man currently has the world at his feet and there's no turning back. This is a recording artist whose new hit topped the iTunes charts South Africa within an hour of its release. Having won Best Newcomer of the Year at the SA Music Awards for his debut album Tsulufelo, released in July 2014, he's already seen as a major figure on the hip-hop landscape. Not many fans realize the 24-year-old has been making music from the age of 12. It's been a roller coaster ride for you. I mean, success after success after success. For people, it seems like we've just been winning, but it actually took us 10 years before anybody acknowledged uh, us, before the awards, before the Channel Lows, Metros, Summers, you know, the Platinum plaques, before everything. But it seems like it all came at one time, and for people, it, it, I was a new artist in their eyes, so. Yeah, it looked like it was very easy for us, but it took it took a long time. Was there a specific moment where you sat back and thought, wow, I've, I've achieved what I wanted to achieve? Was there a singular moment or has it just been building? Um, I've had a lot of moments where I felt like I've done something with my life, but I don't think I've ever felt like, yeah, I've made it. When I was shooting my brand new single, uh, Mama I Made It, we went to the hood and I tweeted and asked people to come meet me at the spot in my hood. and. We had like 4,000 kids show up, you know, around my tour bus. And that moment, I felt like, you know, I, I could say I've made it, but I, I, I didn't really feel like that. I just felt like I, I think I've done something with my life and I've done something that inspires kids in the hoods. And, and yeah, that's the one moment that I can think of right now that really touched me. What's it been like working with Casper? He's my age, so most of the time, people who inspire you are people who are mostly older than you, but now, it's different because we're the same age and he's there up there and oh, it's been no, so he's great. Lying. I'm not up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah but it's weird <laughs> when like my peers when my peers uh, look at me or look up to me. Yeah. You know, because I see everybody as equal and, and talented. I'm just privileged to be the one who kinda leads most of the time, but you know, yeah. Producer Dan Joffe was not surprised that Casper's new single was downloaded 200,000 times within nine hours of release. The man has an extraordinary connection to his public. I've been working with Casper since his first album and it's really been amazing to watch Casper develop as an artist over the past 18 months. And I think this album is going to be something really special. Why do you think Casper is so successful? You know, having met Casper, you, you'll see that he's quite a charismatic guy. And, um, you know, he really takes his, his music to the people. And I think, you know, the people have embraced him because of that. And that's, I think, probably one of the main contributors to his success. I love what I heard. I'm really looking forward to the album. Thank you, thank you. Me too. I'm looking forward to people hearing it. What is this? Like this is a skyboard. It's like a skateboard with technology. That is you really kind of cool. balance. Wow. And, yeah. A man of many talents. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say that, but you know. Your life before you became famous yeah. is what you speak about. It's what you sing about. It's what you, yeah. what you rap about. Yeah, I come from a place called Mafi Gang, and it's a very um, quiet place. Uh, we don't really have any kind of entertainment. So all we do all day is just craft and craft. So um, that's what's been sort of of value for me, like guys like WHP and them, like we just have so much time to craft. So by the time we come out here, we've got so many stories to tell. And we're, I don't know how to put it, like well practiced at what we do. Your parents were both teachers, so I'm sure that dropping out of school must have been a bit of a fight. I'm sure that they weren't very happy with that decision. Yeah, it was a big fight at, at home at first, you know, but me being good with words, I was able to explain myself and draw the picture of the vision that I had and explain that I'm not dropping out of school to sit around the house or sit at corners and waste my life away. It was more of to change my, 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 my dream and take this leap of faith because I didn't have anything to fall back on. I still don't, but I used to tell them like, you know, if you believe in something, you know, then you don't need anything to fall back on because you're not going to fall. And that's the type of person I am. And even with the concert I'm doing on the 31st of October, it's never been done where South African artists filled up a venue with 20,000 people by themselves. So that's the type of person I am. I, I have a great faith in, in God and uh, I like to practice it. What lessons did you learn from your parents? I'm just a collage of my mom and dad. My mom is more like the dreamer, the one who likes nice things. My dad is like the humble guy who's really, really funny. So yeah, that's 
what I've learned from both my parents. They gave you great balance. They gave you great balance. Yeah, great balance. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Some of the star's best friends joined us for a spot of paintball. A couple more knows Casper as the kid who fought to be in every play, on every stage at school, and whose lyrics reflect the life he's lived. Why do you think his music is so relatable? Because Casper always tells the truth in his songs and tells a story about his life, you know, how he started, and he has faith. And he's a believer, you know? That's one guy that I know that he has faith. And when he wants something, he gets it and he prays for it. Okay, so it's time to get into the field. Yeah. But before we put this on, is this not going to mess up your do? No, no, no. Hey? This guy is ready for work. Looking good. Yeah, I always look fresh. You also look good. Um, yeah. This is uh, more for functional purposes yes. than aesthetics. But because um, <laughs> I don't want to get hit by any of these bullets, let's go. The man's a natural athlete, too who's been good at and crazy about football, cricket and basketball for just as long as he's loved music. Before we take these guys down, I want to find out, you've had some pretty cool travels. Yeah. I mean, you must have seen some amazing places. Yeah, I've traveled a lot in Africa and I've seen a lot of beautiful places. Just to mention a few, Malawi, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, and I think that South Africans need to start traveling more. Yeah, I love the beautiful places. Yeah. Well, listen, big up. You've had an amazing career. Onwards and upwards. I think I hear some people coming through. You're going to get me in trouble. Whoa. Okay, Whoa. I'm, I'm out. You take it. Okay, let's go. Casper could have packed it all in after his first label signed him, but failed to release any of his work for two years. He moved back home but kept performing, fighting to be heard, and then suddenly he was. Yes! Thank you! That's my nice. voice, man! Well done. Oh, okay. Well done, well done. Some parting words, advice for those who want to be just like you. Uh, the best advice you can ever give anybody is just to pray hard, man. Like I'm a believer in Christ and work hard, work harder. Yeah. Nice. Big up. Big up. Well done. Entitled Rifilwe after Casper's original name, the follow-up album coincides with his one-man concert on October 31st. Mama, he certainly has made it.